Hi guys, today I'm taking you through my get ready with me routine for Gerba. So I took a shower first and I used my new Coco and Raspberry shower gel which is amazing and as always I also cleansed my skin in the shower. And then I went in with my new toner which I'm loving at the moment and it's by Kiehl's. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. And then as you do, brush the old teeth too. Then it was time to get dressed into my beautiful Anarkali suit which is from Mansi in Leicester and it's probably the best shop in Leicester to get Anarkali suits, they literally have hundreds and hundreds of them. Can you tell that I'm loving neon by the way? Um, so I wore these neon jewellery bits as well and they're from Rituals and that again is also in Leicester. And yes, they had a lot of neon going on in them as well. And then for my nails, I used a beautiful, bright, kind of royal blue. As always, my eyebrow routine will be linked in the description box. And for my eyeshadow, I always, again, primed my eyelids with the Too Faced eyeshadow primer. And this particular one is the one in Lemon Drop. For my eyebrow highlight, I used the Mary Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics and popped that on my brow bone using a Real Techniques brush. For the transition colour, I used Faint, which is from the Urban Decay Basics palette, and just applied that with a fluffy brush um, to the crease of my eyelids. Using shade number 36 from the Kiko Lasting Eyeshadow Stick, I applied that to the whole of my eyelid. And this is a really nice, like, rosy, champagne colour. Then I actually layered Slow Burn, which is from the Urban Decay Naked Palette, into the centre of my eyelid. And the Kiko Eyeshadow Stick really helps the eyeshadow look really, really vibrant. Then I grabbed Max Embark, which is a dark matte brown colour, and then added that onto the outer and inner corner of my eyelid. So not going into the crease, but keeping on the eyelid itself. Then to make sure it was all nicely blended, I went in with Fate again on a fluffy brush and just made sure all the colours were nicely blended together with no harsh lines. I then decided to add a little bit more of Slow Burn onto the centre of my eyelids just to make sure it was nice and popping and none of the colour had got reduced from any blending. I picked the Super Liner up by L'Oreal as I got it free on offer and it's actually really, really good. The point is so super fine that I was able to make my eyeliner look super, super good. Um, and I, yeah, I've really been liking using this actually. Um, but yeah, I just went ahead and lined my eyes and did a bit of a cat eye. As always, I also tight lined my eye using Perversion, which is by Urban Decay. For mascara, oh my gosh, I used the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black Mascara and why have I not known of this in my life before? It is so amazing. It is super, super wet so you've got to be really careful because I did get a little bit on my eyelid but it literally makes your eyelashes look amazing. For foundation, I went for Face and Body, my favourite as always, and popped that on with a beauty blender. And I'm still using C5 as a colour reference because my tan is still not completely gone yet. For concealing and highlighting, I used my Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer and the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and put that in with triangle motions underneath my eyes, my chin, my cupid bow and at the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my forehead. And then, as always, blending that all out with my Beauty Blender as well. And again, like always, not trying to move the product around a lot, just blending it in place. And then setting my under eyes with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm concentrating on the under eyes, but then I did go ahead and set any other areas that I did highlight with whatever was left on the Beauty Blender. Using the Sephora Press Powder in Medium or Deep. I will link it in the description box below, but I'm just slightly contouring my face, so adding it to my cheekbones, well the hollows of my cheeks, and then applying it kind of up into my temples and along my hairline. Then to darken that slightly, I'm using Crush Walnut Eyeshadow by Natural Collection and just applying that on top of the points that I already contoured. For cheeks, I have been loving Dolce Vita Blusher by NARS, so I popped 
uh, a little bit too much <laughs> onto my cheeks, um, but really, really liking this blusher color because I feel like I can wear it with any eye, lips, makeup look. Then I grabbed Topshop's highlighter in Crescent Moon and just applied that to the high points of my cheeks. For lips, I used the Rimmel Lip Liner in East End Snob and I just applied that all over my lips. And then on top of that, I went in with the Inglot Lip Paint in the shade 66, which is a really nice and neutral pink colour. Then grabbing Embark by MAC again, I'm just applying that to my lower lash line just to give my eyes a bit more of a dimension and so that they don't look too flat. I have been loving doing this and then adding a nude eyeliner on my bottom waterline and you've probably guessed it, I'm now going to be adding a nude eyeliner which is a by Rimmel on to my lower waterline. And then just so that the whole look is pulled together, I'm applying the same telescopic extra black mascara onto my bottom lashes and I think you can see here just how amazing <laughs> this mascara is. I went in with about two or three coats of it on my bottom lashes because I just wanted to give it that extra oomph. For my bindi I went in with a pink at first but then after looking at it I was kind of like nah and it needs to be another colour so then I added an orange one and that completely like changed the whole look and I loved it so I stuck with that and then I did actually add a little dot just underneath it with that same eyeliner and then I decided to go a little bit crazy and add two dots underneath my winged eyes. It just gave it that extra traditional kind of Navratri Goba flair to the whole look. And then I put my super bright neon bangles on. Look how neon they are. I absolutely love these. I have been addicted to buying neon stuff. And these again are my neon earrings and I'm just putting them on there and they are beautiful as well. I'm totally wearing this with English clothes as well. And then popped some long lasting makeup setting spray by Urban Decay because we didn't want that makeup going anywhere. I couldn't forget the nails, so I quickly, quickly painted my hands and my toes with the beautiful blue Sally Hansen nail polish. I then made myself a cup of chai using the Unique Instant Masala Tea, and you literally put the packet into a mug and then add hot boiling water and give it a quick stir and you are literally good to go. It is the best pre-mixed Indian chai I have ever, ever, ever had. So if you are in a shop that sells this, you need to get yourself some. I did have to wear some Chantry. I always wear Chantry, which um, are also known as file with my Aldo shoes. And this is my beautiful outfit on. And the whole day was so beautiful. We went to the venue, did Ardi, and you know, prayed for nothing but goodness in everyone's lives. And then literally just, I did not get off the dance floor. It's not really a dance floor, but I did not get off and I was dancing the whole, whole time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.